Welcome back to Court Farm for episode 20 with me, Mr. Sealy P. We're back on Court Farm, and due to popular demand, the allotment episode went well. A lot of people seem to like that, and I had loads of feedback from all around. Most people were talking about community gardens and stuff. A lot of them are privately owned, but people have access to them, that kind of thing. Um, and people have been saying about expanding the allotment. Well, what I'm going to start off by doing is, let's turn in here. We've got a load of bales to collect. And I didn't collect them in the winter because the weather was atrocious and there was snow everywhere. We've got some of our bales, I mean, we've got a load of bales over at Court Farm to collect. On our fields, if we go to, where are we? So field 54, we mowed just before the winter hit and we baled it and they all just sat there on the field. But then when we got the outer areas and I said I baled this area and this area here, I also went round the edges of a couple of fields over here as well. I think round the outskirts of these two. So we have leased the bale grab because they're silage bales. Now I've used all sorts of grabs. I've used the CSZ pack, the big bag handlers, that kind of thing. I thought, you know what, let's give it a go with the wrap bale handler. Why not? Um, it doesn't pierce the bales. I'm not bothered about piercing bales because you can always put tape over them. We've had that conversation before. But I thought, you know what, we'll give it a go with this. So we've leased that and this belongs to Court Farm. So we're borrowing the telehandler handler on the proviso that when we've cleared our bales, we'll go up to Court Farm and we'll collect all their bales and we'll bring them up. Now I'm only going to use my small trailer. I could use an auto stack. I could use an auto load. Absolutely I could. There are so many available, but this is how we're going to do it. Then we're heading up to the... Actually, I'm just trying to think what time is it. Yeah. Uh, we're going to head up to the allotment and we're going to put some greenhouses in but we're going proper dad DIY we're going proper allotment greenhouses um, was it Peter? who was it that messaged me? was it Michael? apologies if it was you I've had two or three people message me but one person hit me up straight away and said what about if I find the person I'll put it up on the screen um, and they, they will fit the allotment perfectly so we'll get some greenhouses in the root crops as in our carrots parsnip and beetroot we can't plant until april i'm sure it was april wasn't it let's go down and check yeah start of april so we've got the rest of march to go through start of april we can then the rest of those plots we're going to put some root crops up there in the allotments um just a small like okay, a test plot sort of thing it's not about making tons of money I just want to do them, want to have a go. So, um, two thumbs way, way up. What I'm going to do is we're also going to give the Massey a bit of a run out. It's been a cold winter. So we're going to give this a bit of a run. We'll grab the bales that we've got. I mean, to be fair, we kind of... I, I thought by now, as we came into March, that we would have more, um, more contracts popping up again. Because if you remember, the end of last year... Towards the end of last year, we had so many bailing contracts. And that's how we managed to pick up so many. I honestly thought once the winter was kind of over, we'd have loads, but it was not to be. I'm thinking as well, if we do make a bit of money uh, on contracts or anything, we might buy the campground here at Stonebridge too. Just a thought. So, yeah, we've got some bales out in the field over there. And we've got some bales here. So I'm going to load these on first, then I'll go and get those, then we've got to sort out the ones at Court Farm. Go back get the telehandler, we'll come back, load those up, and then, uh, yeah, I'll go and get the ones in the field out there. We'll crack on with that. Then we'll head up, we'll get the greenhouses in. They're going to require, as far as I know, it's just water, but it might be water and manure, I'm not too sure. We'll have a double check when we put in. Whatever it is we need, we'll put in, and we'll get the greenhouses chugging away as well. Oh, it's so nice now we're out of the winter. Light, light days. We can see what we're doing. All of the detail becomes crisper and clearer again. I don't mind, as I've said before, I don't mind the winters. I, I, and it, I like the atmosphere. I like the way it's sort of done. But for recording, for making videos, it can make them a bit dark. And, you know, as I'm finding on Alma, the winter on Alma, whoa, it's crazy. So let's raise another of that. That should just be open and close. Another of that. Can I do it from in cab? Ha ha ha. 
I'm not so sure. We actually probably need to do some more feed for the cows. I said that in the last episode, didn't I? But didn't actually get onto it. So I will. Now, I'm not sure when this is going to be finished, this episode. Um, or when it'll be posted. And I haven't said much about this. But myself and Mrs. Silly P have got a trip we have got to do. But we're doing what we've done before. Because of where we're going to be, we are tying in a couple of days in Keswick. Um, oh, look. No way, man. Did I just do that? Let's extend that out a little bit so I don't drive into the trailer itself. He says driving into the trailer itself. Are we on? Trouble is with these. It's the only problem I find with the bail grabs. I'm not a big fan because when you open up the arms, you can hit onto the trailers. Let's see how far. Actually, that's not bad, actually. If we put the other one from the other side, just nudge that a little bit, the sort of centre line's roughly there. That wasn't as bad as I thought. OK, that's cool. I've been trying more in cab stuff. I know people keep saying they want to see a whole Let's Play of it. I, I can't. I, honestly, I can't. For my own sanity as well as everyone else watching, I, honestly. Whoa, we are bumping around. So I've got to make sure I don't nudge it too far. Probably has not been out of feeling any resistance. How's that? Yeah, it's all right. Like I said, the problem is because the grab has to release out sideways. It's never been particularly great for doing this because if you want to put the next set of bells right up next to it, unless you hold it above and release and let it drop, and there's always a risk it bounces off. There's probably an, and there's probably a knack to it, an absolute you know, or you do it just on the very top. But then I don't. I find often it doesn't hold the bale well enough. We'll try it, but I, I don't think it does. Just for me personally, I don't think it does. So if we go into the bale like that, until we nudge it, then come up, and then grab. Well, maybe it will. Just think it's going to fall out of there. Just not the other one. Um, yeah. No, not great. I suppose what we can always do, as I'm doing here. Especially on a tully handler. Need to get lower on the bale. There you go. So what I do like about the CSZ pack, the different camera angles so you can actually be zoomed right in on the actual attachment. A little bit of a nudge. There we go. That will do. Right. So as I said, I've got a load more to do here. We've got the side of the field, and it means we've got to find a little gap. There's gaps in the hedges, 
there's low points, let's bring that back. So we can go right down the edge, and we find a little gap, go through, and I've got all those to collect. We've got quite a few, as you can see. It's going to take me a while, so I think what I might do is do a few more, and then I'll um, always up and sort the allotment out. I'm just worried about losing light again. Yeah, it's a little bit thinner here, so we can nip through the hedge there. On this gov, it's alright. Don't you worry about a thing. These look a lot bigger. Do I do different bale sizes? Didn't think I had. Right, see up at the allotments in a little while. <laughs> we are seriously giving them the uh, massier workout. I got all of the bales off that field. Well, off those fields, that one and that one. Um, I took one over on the telehandler, but all the rest I got on here. Is it overloaded? Yes. Would I go out on the road with it? No. We are going from the field to the farm just down there. I love this thing. Yeah, we're leaning back a little bit. Like I said, I was gonna get I was gonna upgrade and get the um the little articulated one. Which I might still do, I don't know. Oh, I'm hit the fence then. <gasps> I'm too busy looking at the tractor and not where I'm going. So I'll we'll unload these. I said I'd see up at the allotment, but I was doing this and thought, no, I've got to, you know, got to show this, because it's, it's mint. So we need to turn down here. It was funny actually, I was putting the feed in for the cows and then suddenly thought, oh we're running really low on silage bales, forgetting that I had all of those out in the field at Court Farm had all of theirs and we haven't even touched the silage clamp. All that silage clamp work we did at Court Farm all that time ago. There we go, we'll open that up. Um, this, you might notice, <laughs> slight error, when I put the bales on I went over to do the tension straps and pressing L3 to do the tension strap took the cover off, I took the wrap off the bale, I did it with two of them, as you can see. But that's alright, because this one I'm going to feed to the cows anyway. There we go. And you think of how many strips, rows, we had here before winter. I mean they did the job, they got us through the winter, which is exactly what we needed. Up until the fact up until a point we'd get more bailing contracts to do or whatever we needed to do. I mean to be fair, I could I can mow this, can't I? Of course I can if I wanted to. At the end of the day, yes they're out grazing. They are chewing the cud and doing all what they should be doing. But um Yeah, if we do need some grass to cut we can do that. I'm back to where I was before, where I'm just, you know, I know everyone wants to see whiz-bangy, cool, new, fangled, this, that and the other, but it's this stuff, the day-to-day, -day, I love. Now there's different ways I could go about this. We could um, just under the tension straps and then use the grab and grab them off a bit at a time we could push them all off and then tidy them up there's all different ways around it but we need to get up to the allotment like i say before it starts to get dark again we're in march it shouldn't get dark too early but it still will so we'll stop there for the time being i might bet these people love having all these size bales mind you it's one of those things as well if i lived there i'd be I'd be so happy. I'd be just watching the farm stuff going on all day. Pestering the farmer. Can I ride in your tractor, mister? Actually, no, I need to leave this here. And then we'll unload that later on. And then what I'll do, I'll take that up to get the bales from Court Farm. Right, let's go and grab the Land Rover. There we go. We're going to grab the water tanker, little water tank from court we've got our one here i'll say our one is it our one or is it courts 
um, but it's I went for the larger one tonight, it's 20,000 litres. I mean, to be fair, that's probably not a bad idea, but. Actually, that's something I should do here. Just thinking as well. Francis Stonebridge Farm, free range eggs. We haven't got any chickens here. Well, I guess that's something we should be looking at. See you at the allotment. We'll get the greenhouses in, then we'll work out what we're going to need. And like I say, when we get into April, we'll then get the root crop in the ground over there as well. I've grabbed the tank from um, Court Farm. It has been rinsed out, washed out, because it has had slurry in it up to now. Um, and I'm bringing up empty. There's a well up at the um, allotment, which we're going to use to fill this up. Rather than drag it all out there full, we'll use the water source up there. I'm pretty sure the greenhouses only require water. And um, the ones I'm putting in anyway. So I don't require manure or anything. I thought I'd bring a few loads of manure up, but I don't think we're gonna need to. Which is pretty good. So we'll go to the well first. I've got um three locations I wanna try and put them in. See how that works. So, out to the end here. There we go, a little well just here. Let's fill up. Oh, hang on. Have I got the wrong, have I got the wrong one? I thought it was only 8,000 litres. That's not going to work. We're going to need the tractor. No problem, I'll go and get a tractor and bring the tractor up. The little micro one we have was only leased. Um, we'll get a small one again when we come to put the, uh, the root crops in. I wonder if we can remove any of that. Hmm. But while we're here... So, I want to put one here one up sort of on the corner here and one part way along along by that tank just over there but what i normally do is i normally um sort of don't show myself doing it i do the pop and they appear but i thought you know what yeah just past maybe here so three separate locations so under here under production under greenhouses we've got these made of windows a foil tunnel and that one's made of windows so it's just odds and ends bric-a-brac if you will um that's 2.8 anyway so as, as low as 2.8 as i can get that i don't want to go too high nope. i've got this down to about if i can get this down to Hmm, that seems a lot. It's cheaper the further out I'm coming. Don't want to get yeah, I mean look at that. Two eight five six. I don't want to come that far out. But actually, you know what? I think we will. How much is this going to adjust the ground? Actually not too bad at all. I love that. Like I say, that's that's a proper dad shed, that. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I've got a few bits of wood and stuff down the shed. We've got a few nails, a few screws. Let's just, let's cobble something together. That'll do, that'll do the job. Right, next one over here. Where do we want it? Here-ish, I guess. Go for this one here. What's that one? Three five. Three five five nine two. That's not too bad, is it? Three five five five. Let's go with that. 
Mm, got a little bit of raise there, might be able to smooth that out a little bit. Nice, and then one down here. Is this one with the, the little watering can next to it? 2844, that's not bad. Again, let's see if we can smooth this a little bit. Again, people ask me, I don't often show me doing this sort of stuff, and can I show me doing it? It doesn't always let you. Yeah, depending on what you've placed, because it'll have an edge. So what sometimes you have to do is I could level the ground out. Oh, this is a bit of a gamble now. Oh, I'm doing it live. I should have saved it. But if we go from here, if I go down a bit, if we level out. So yeah, let me level out. Well, it's left a gap for some reason. Yeah, normally if it lets you level straight out from there, then you can smooth down when you've leveled it a little bit further out, but I don't think it's going to let me. That's all right. Doesn't hurt having a little bit of a lip there. We can always put some trees or bushes or you know, whatever you want to do to make it look good. So we'll get the tractor down, we'll get some water in. We're improving the allotments. I'm going to double check this actually. Let's see if we can go on to demolish. Won't let me get rid of any of these. No. Oh, that's a bit. That would have been cool. Got a bit more space down the back here as well. So yeah, it comes down to what you want to do. Level the ground first, then place. Place, then work out how you're going to do it. That's just there. Yeah, that's a bit of a... That's a sharp little ridge there. I'm not keen on that. Let's move it a little bit. Okay. Right. Tractor, water. Let's get the water in these. I might do one greenhouse of each. We'll do strawberries, tomatoes and lettuce, shall we? Or should I just do tomatoes and lettuce? I seem to be doing strawberries a lot. I'm doing pumpkin and strawberries on Alma. So should we just do tomatoes and lettuce? Oh, I don't know. Maybe two lettuce because they take a lot longer to grow, don't they? Right. Tractor. Let's go. Let's get some water. Not quite home improvements. We're in the class. Actually, this is something we need to sort out replacing, don't we? Because um, uh, Caleb got rid of his class. He, he hasn't got it. Um, what was this about for? I'll have to check his inventory. He's got the new Holland, hasn't he? Just thinking, over at, um, at Diddley Squat, we've got the John Deere, we've got the case here. Hmm, yeah, we'll have a, have a think. I'm sure he's got four or five. Anyway, sorry. Thinking out loud. <laughs> That's something we need to have. More things like that. I know we've got the various different... <laughs> Idiot. We've got... Um, there's greenhouse mods to do various different things like that. But I know we've just got carrots and parsnips and all that kind of thing. But I just think that might be quite cool, wouldn't it? To have uh, things like cauliflower. And, and where'd you stop? I mean, there are so many crops. Just, uh, we'll drive up these. Yeah, we'll drive up this way.
I was asked in the comments after the last episode on here, was I going to get rid of the stones? No. I did say in the video I probably wasn't going to. That's alright. We could put more in than this if we wanted to, but we'll start off with these. Cool, right. So in here, let's go tomatoes. Lettuce. I suppose lettuce isn't far off, is it? I think we'll just go tomatoes and two on lettuce, I think. <laughs> Just, oh, it's brilliant. Isn't it? And again, there are so many greenhouses that do so many different crop types fruits and vegetables and all sorts of things, peppers, and I mean, there's tons of them. But it was because these fitted the allotment vibe, you know? It just worked very, very nicely. Actually, you know something I need to check? Have we got any? No. I was really hoping we might have a contract. Something we could jump onto. We do need to go back to um, to Diddly Squat because there was ploughing and stuff, wasn't there? Although we have jumped ahead here, haven't we? don't know if it will still be there. It should still be there. Um, We'll take, we were going to take the case back, weren't we? We were going to take the case over to Diddly Squat and have a fiddle around over there, do a few jobs there and kind of bounce between the two. But for the time being... Oh, yeah, horses. But we've got no oats to feed them. That was the thing. I was going to wait until maybe we got some contracts come up. Although that being said, things like oats won't be till... What are we looking at for our calendar? Harvesting of oatage. Uh, not till July, so we're not going to get any contracts for that. Although I'm surprised again, considering we're in we're on three day months. We're in planting season for wheat, barley, canola, oats, potatoes, sugar beet, admittedly cotton and grapes, but not do that. And olives, um, rye, field bean, linseed. But we've got no contracts come up for planting, and I'm assuming. We go to the map and go to that. Yeah. Well, there's a few fields that haven't got anything in yet. That one looks like it's been ploughed, ploughed. So there should be some. I guess these are all winter crops, but there are a few fields around. I don't know. Maybe we'll get some pop up. I was just curious to see what the situation was. I could just. I'm getting old. I'm getting old, people. I'm really getting old. I'm. I'm watching this. I'm just watching this. Looking around here, thinking, this is right up my street. This, like my my man cave studio. Get myself a little shed. Build myself a little shed. Little polytunnel greenhouse. Little plot of ground so you can call your own. And you can just sit there. Through all weathers, have yourself a little stove, come and boil yourself and, you know, have a little kettle and all that kind of thing. And just sit and watch the world go by. Do a real life allotment series, that'd be quite cool. Anyway, I've got more bales to collect, load more bales to collect. Again, this is, I'm, I'm trying to do a few shorter episodes. And I have had people, when I said in the last episode, um saying they don't mind longer ones, they don't mind up to an hour. And I know that, and that's generally what I do. I'll, they'll be around the 50 plus minutes up to 60. 
Um, but I'm trying to also trying to cater because I've had people message me saying, look, I only get a lunch break of X amount of time. I normally watch during my lunch break. Can you do some shorter ones? And it all down, comes down to how much work I've got to do, how much work I've got on. If I've got loads and loads to do, the, the episodes tend to be longer. If like this one, I've got bales to collect and, uh, and I wanted to do the greenhouses at the allotment. In all honesty, I thought they took manure as well. So I thought I'd have to do a couple of trips backwards and forwards with some manure and unload that as well, but I'm not gonna have to, it's just water. So um, realistically, other than going to collect the bales now for um, for Court Farm off their fields, we do need to cut some grass for those um, for the rabbits. Maybe grab the mower out before I finish and cut some grass. You've already seen me collecting some bales. I'll probably finish off doing that. We'll go over to. I'll probably go around the outskirts of those couple of fields I've got the crops in, um, and it's not going to be as, as tidy. I have sorted out the bales just down here, but what we are going to do is I'm going to just mow around the edge of the cow field, um, which, which should be enough grass for the rabbits. I'll make sure I don't hit this because the mower sticks out the back. And I'll show you the um, the stack. It's not the tidiest. <laughs> it's not the tidiest thing you've ever seen. But <laughs> they're off. <laughs> they're, yeah, I mean, yeah. The least said the better. Actually, I don't know how much room have we got around. Probably not as much as I thought. It might only be this little area here. I was trying to look at you. The ground we've we've obtained. Most of this has got buildings and stuff on. Um, we already did that. We already did that. The grass hasn't even started regrowing on that one there on field 54. Um, just trying to find another plot that's likely to have grass on that we can get to because this is all off the f the boundary. Um, I guess I showed up here, didn't I? Just that field there, just past the um, the garden centre. We've got access to that. So potentially, I mean, there is grass actually just around here, just north, uh, just south of the allotments. To be fair, um, let's see if I can do some of this. See if it will let me first of all. No, there yeah, we've got some. What about when we go on to here? No, because I know when you try and cut the grass, there's a massive patch of land at. Um, Court Farm. This huge patch here out in front, which is where your vehicles spawn if you reset them, but that entire plot, there's grass on it, but you can't cut it. I mean, you can cut it, it cuts it right back, but you don't get any grass, which is frustrating because that's a huge expanse there. Um, looks like it's just going to be this bit around here. It'll be enough, in all honesty. The rabbits don't use a lot and don't take a lot so it's just a case of just getting enough I guess we could if we were really that desperate start like a lawn mowing service for locals <laughs> probably doesn't help I just put all those bales down on there This will cut. There's a little bit. It's better than a poke in the eye of a sharp stick, as my dad used to say.
guess what I could do? Probably shouldn't do this with the mower. Oh, doesn't like that at all. <laughs> I thought I'd just shove him back with the mower. Uh, not really. We'll just snap that arm completely, wouldn't we? Yeah, not good. Like I say, it will do. Now I've got to decide what I'm going to do about the, the fresh, the free range eggs. Oh, we don't, should we do chickens here? Trubs, I haven't got, I don't have any. Oh, hang on. What did I put into the silo way back? Right at the start. Oh, corn. Chickens don't take corn, do they? Oh, that's frustrating. I thought I had sorghum. I suddenly thought, oh, hang on. I've got stuff in the silo, but I haven't. I guess if we had to, we could sell that corn and buy chicken feed if we wanted to. Depends how desperate we are to do it. That'll do. We'll, we can collect that, whether I do it with a bucket or... I, I, there's not really enough there to worry about windrowing and collecting with a forage wagon or anything like that, but... There's enough. That's been open a long time. Back to the bales, then.
the bunnies are fed. I've got the grab bag on the front. It's a nice way to bookend what we've been doing. We started off going out and grabbing bales. I said I would go out to the fields because, you know, when I was doing silage baling. You know what I'm like. If you've watched my Let's Plays, if you've watched before, when I did six ashes and I started out and I didn't have any land, and I managed to get a contract for the council cutting the verges. Literally, all the grass verges either side of the road, and I just did what I needed to do with that. You can see all the ground here that was cut. The fields that I did before, before winter, hasn't regrown yet. But, around the edges of the field, see all the white bales? Oh yes! I did not hang about. I thought, you know what? The grass is there. Let's, let's do it. Let's just crack on. Now, I should have bought the trailer here, shouldn't I? I left the trailer in the, in the field. But what I can do... Actually, you know what I'm going to do with this one? I'm going to take it down and feed the cows. Because I think they're going to need some anyway. So we'll take that and feed the cows. So as you can see, we've got a load around this field. We've got some around the smaller field. And as you've already, you have already know, we've got a ton of them um, in, the, in the big field. Someone messaged me the other day to ask me about the... Oh, you know what we could do? We haven't done for a while. Let's switch um, switch onto the Court Farm account. And let's feed um, let's feed the dog. I don't think the dog's been fed for a while. Doing our bit. There we go. Sure, find his way back. I mowed, you see this strip here? I mowed a strip here and I mowed a strip over there on my way down to do the stuff for the rabbits. But this, this entire field... So I was wondering whether or not... I don't know how far it extends with regard to... Because this is where everything resets to. Whether the whole field is where things reset to. Or whether we could plough the far end of it and replant that with grass, maybe? Hmm... I wonder. I don't think there's probably anything stopping us doing the entire field. Just an idea, just a thought, I don't know. Is the dog back? Oh. Don't say that bothered. That might be not hungry. Fair enough. Actually what I will do. Let's drop that down. Do that. Do do cut the wrap. We've got some eggs. We haven't got a lot. I mean, like I said before, there's not a lot of chickens in here. It looks like a lot. And if that was for personal use, that's great. And if you're just going to put a little sign, like we've got down at Stonebridge, where people can come along and might just pick up six eggs, that's fine. I'm not doing it for commercial gain. It's not a sort of, you know, that's sort of probably more... If we had a little farm shop, well, that's what I said about doing. A little farm shop for the campers and for people coming to Court Farm to buy produce from the farm. That's not a bad idea either. Um... That sort of thing. You've got enough eggs then, haven't you? You don't have to... Oh, no, the gate's open. How long has that been open for? I'm a bad farmer. Close the gate. They're all very happy in here. We've got a lot of milk. So a lot of milk. How much we got? 18,055 litres of milk. That's not bad. Bedding we're right for at the moment. So as I said, the other field, and the trailer's down there, so it makes sense to come down here. I realised when I started to edit this, this is not a short one. <laughs> there you go. We've got all that lot. That's going to be a few trailer loads, isn't it? I am... yeah. I'm looking at it now thinking, do, do I want to use this grab to do all of that lot? Do we just lease... Um, an auto stack, maybe, potentially. Well, let's go to that. So, that's it for this episode on Court Farm. Uh, as I did I mention earlier, I can't remember if I did or not, um, I, I'm away for a couple of days with Mrs. City P. We're heading off literally in about two hours. I'm just getting this finished, really top load. Um, and one of the reasons we decided to go a day early 
because what we've got to do um, is tomorrow, which is Friday, um, I got an email from Virgin to say that um, they're doing major upgrade works on our internet. So our internet's going to be off all day. So I wouldn't have been able to do a video at all tomorrow anyway, regardless whether there's mods or not. So actually, for me personally, I'm just thinking oh, I'm going to lose Saturday. Obviously, there'll be Thursday evening. If, if they drop mods Thursday evening, there won't be a mod review. So apologies for that. If you watch some mod, re mod reviews as well, um, there won't be any mod review Thursday or potentially Friday. I'll be back Sunday. So well, I suppose what I could do, I could do a mod roundup video on Sunday of the of the mods that came out, maybe. Yeah, maybe we could do that. Open it enough I can get all the grab off. I suppose that's what I need to be doing. Just open it enough to lift it, but not all the way. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. As always, thanks for watching.